Hello guys, welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk more about the Jira project um, fields or uh, the, the fields in the screens and then how you can add a custom field and if you want to reshuffle the fields on the screens, what is the process to do that? So as a Jira administrator, you'll be required to do the field configuration a lot um and it's e it's pretty easy to understand and do all those configurations so to get started let's first go to the project and see the project settings and the f so under product project settings you can see in the fields if we go to the default field configuration now this is what we have already uh, discussed before that this is the default field configuration and the number of fields or the fields that are available uh, on different screens so, so like a sign is available on these many screens you can edit this um, field or hide uh, this field uh, and then customize the screens on which this assignee field appears so if you go to the screens and check or uncheck the screens uh, say for example you don't want a signy field to appear on the scrum bug screen for rop or rcv academy online uh, portal project then you just uncheck it and update it so now that in this tutorial what we, what we are going to discuss is so for example there is a requirement in your project to add a custom field so whatever fields are available here they are not appropriate and there needs there is a need to add a new custom field um, in some uh, say for example bug screen or uh, the user story screen right so how you can do that so if you go to the um, uh, field or custom fields then in the custom field here you will see uh, in the right hand side you have the custom field button right so simply click on custom field button and it will open um, the screen to what sort of custom field you want to add right so for example uh, you want to add date picker you want to date time picker or you want to add a label field number field radio button etc so there are many options um, available uh, in the custom field apart from these you have many more custom fields available from the Jira marketplace so if you hover on this link here uh, this is the Jira Atlassian market, marketplace. If you go on this marketplace, there are a lot many more custom fields available from there. So let's let's say, um, you know, like uh, I want something, um, some field which is sort of a, maybe just a number field or just a free text maybe. So I'll just add a text feed, say a single line and then click next. And uh, this one I just want to um, say maybe just I'll go back and I'll select drop down maybe so I'll just say a field uh, as automatable and then I'll add the options yes or no so and I want to add this field on say for example a particular task right or say for example a story whether that particular story is automatable or it's not so i need to have this particular field as a drop down and then people can select this particular field and i can pull out report based on whether the how many stories are automatable and how many are not automatable so i can add this custom field i'll create it and then add this field into the different screens so now you can see this reindex message has appeared uh, we'll just cancel that as of now and once you add this automatable field it will redirect you to the screen basically associating this field to the screens because as of now this field is just existing there and it's not associated on any screen so if you um just you know like at this point of time you see any of the project or story um, and try to find that automatable field it won't be there right so it's not 
on this issue screen so if you cancel that um, and go back to the issues in the and now on this issues uh, screen in the custom fields I'm in the custom fields and there is a automatable field now you can associate this field to the screen so in the right hand side go to actions in the drop down click on screens and it will open the screens that are available there so uh, there are two projects and there are um, these there is a bug screen scrum bug screen scrum default issue screen which is associated with all other issue types and this screen is associated with the bug issue type so if i just check um, these two and the other project as well and update then this automatable field is now associated with four screens and you can click on this and see what all screens it is associated with now if i go back and try to create a story and see whether that field is visible yes so automatable field is visible now and i can select yes or no from the drop down right uh, now if for example there is a requirement to reshuffle or reorganize the order of these fields right how you can do that so by default when someone uh, clicks on create issue i don't want a component to be visible here a component should be uh, below somewhere and description should be above or below the reported so if you want to reshuffle um, these sort of uh, settings how you can do that let's check so if we go to issues again and in the custom field now in the custom field if you go to the screens so whatever screens are associated with this field for example just click on the screen and click on the screen in which you want to reshuffle or reorganize the order of these fields so you can select any of the screen so for example just don't have to select any uh, specific custom field so for example uh, this uh, this project so scrum bug screen or scrum default issue screen so I'll I want to change ordering in the default issue screen so just click on any of the screen from here or you can go to the screens directly from here and choose any of the screens available with, for which you want to change the order so you can navigate from a number of places in Jira so that's possible so for RCV Academy online portal project I want to change the ordering in the bug screen scheme okay so I'll open that bug screen and now here you see all the fields available right so I want automatable to be bit up right and then I want component below description and then if you don't want some of the uh, fields as well on the screen then you can remove those as well so for example I don't want fixed version for this one I can remove that right once you are done with this change this change will be applicable in the scrum bug screen and not all other screens so if we go back to the rcv academy online portal project and try to create an issue right of a story type that change won't be visible here the component still here description is still there and uh, automatable field still at the bottom however if you create an issue and change it to type as bug then you can see summary reporter automatable as at the top description is there and then component uh, we reordered it to uh, below, below description it came down to below description and all the changes are available in the bug screen now if you want to reorder do reordering on other other issue type as well you have to change the screen uh, that is associated with those issue type or the the screen which has that association so let's go back to the issues and see the screens so we have changed the bug screen scheme 
if we change the default screen scheme with uh, with which all other issue types are associated then that change will be visible in other issue type as well let's pull this uh, automatable field above summary okay and then go back and see that the other issue types are have got that change as well right so now you can see that automatable has been pulled up for the story issue type as well and it's a drop down with yes and no so that's pretty much all about this tutorial in this tutorial we have learned how you can add a custom field in jira and then uh, how you can basically associate that custom field with different screens in your project and if you are required to reorder the fields in uh, jira as well as per the project needs how or what are the steps to go ahead and do that in very easy way so hope you like the video uh, please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching